Hi everybody, I'm Dawn. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a gory makeup look. And we're going to start with some liquid latex. Is that from something? No. On a little plate. And um... And I've seen girls do similar things to this, and they're like, from here up is all glammed out, and I just don't think that's realistic. I don't think that I would be glammed out if I was in the situation that they're showing. So By the time you got to the point where you were gored. Yeah, by the time I was gored. would have worn off anyway. <laughs> yeah. So we're, Tina, what are you doing? So this is toilet tissue I'm using right now. <laughs> toilet tissue. She's acting up. You don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> You're doing the gory. Yeah. I'm going to try to, anyway. A gory McGoraton. Mm -hmm. Okay. A little more over here. I want it to overlap over my mouth. So I don't have to create a way to make it look like, like the bottom lip is chopped off. We're just going to create an illusion. To wear a little easy. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Hmm? Magic. To wear a little easy. Mm -hmm. You know Doug Henning? Mm -hmm. I'm going to rip that a little bit so it'll be jaggedy. I think. So I'm going to do two more layers. I'm going to let this dry down and do two more layers, but I'm not going to make y'all sit through that. Okay, now I'm just using some latex to smooth this out right up here because it's going to have to blend to look like my natural skin. I kind of got this a little bit from Glam and Gore, a little bit from Ellie Max, just um, watching all these beautiful makeup artists with their incredible skill. Anyway, you can take coffee grounds and, and mix it. Yeah, that'll be good. Mm. Mix it with a little bit of latex. And put it on this part of my face, because this is where it's going to get wounded. But we're not going to do that just yet. We're just waiting for this to dry. <laughs> okay, now that it's dry, I'm going to take this tool. This is just a dermatological tool. But I'm going to use it to lift the toilet paper and latex up a little bit. You got to be careful so you don't stab yourself. And it's always a good idea to dip your tools in a little bit of powder to help them to not stick to the latex. Because even when the latex dries, it's still pretty sticky. Now I've decided I'm going to have this come down here so it'll look like just this patch of skin was cut off. Hmm. I wonder 
he just showed up there. Okay. Now this, we're going to work our way under the top part of it. Okay, so I've got all the, the wound, all the base there. So now we're going to take some foundation and blend. Oh, no, I didn't mean to put it there. He doesn't listen to me. Okay, now I'm going to powder it and further blend it that way. Um, so I'm just going to put black in here in the crevasse on the in interior of the wound. Now, to make it look kind of woundy and just scrapey underneath, we're going to take some coffee grounds. This is salted caramel coffee. You don't have to use salted caramel coffee. You can use any kind you want. But not in, don't use the instant because that will just dissolve. You need to use coffee grounds. And I'm just going to mix it. With what if you're going for salted caramel things? Well, then, you know, then mix some in the latex. Just, I'm using a chopstick, but you know, whatever you have, you can use it like a little palette knife. Or it really improves the smell of the latex too. I'm not going to totally cover it in there because there's going to be so much gunk and stuff in there that it's going to, it's going to look good. And we just let that dry. I'm going to go back to the inside here with some black, um, this is just cream paint, but I would suggest using uh, black, um, like, what is that, alcohol activated? I would suggest using that, but I don't have any of that stuff yet. Or right now. You will. I will. When people start getting Patreon. No, I not I don't do Patreon. <laughs> then we're gonna go in with some more red. This is just like a red just a lip gloss mm -hmm. that I don't really use for anything else, so I figure I can use it for fresh blood. Now I'm gonna go through with a different shade of red lipstick. little bit of the black on the skinny end of the wedge, the face wedge. And just do that. Mm, 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 mm. Dun, dun, dun. And we're going to go into, this is zombie blood, but really it's just, it's pretty much the same thing as scab blood. which is on my wish list, my stock and stuff for wish list. Mm. So 
on my hand. And really what it is, it's just a really, really dark red, like scab blood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go in with just fresh blood. On the same sponge. And I like this blood because this is going to give a nice shine. A nice, freshly face cut open shine. Let's open a new tube. I'll have to go get some fake blood when it's half off after Halloween. Although making your own is so much, so much more satisfying, mm -hmm. I would think. You should go to the okay. emergency room just to mess with them. <laughs> There's been a bit of an incident. I have a bit of an issue. <laughs> okay, now I really should have done this before I put all this wet, gooey blood. But I didn't, so... Jesus. We're gonna... Just add some blush because it's gonna give obvious redness. And another thing, I'm gonna put some on the eye because I've seen a lot of people do these looks where they have a real glam eye going on. Well, I just don't think that's realistic. I think you would have like not happy eyes, but I don't want to rub my eyes and make them bloodshot, so. There is some type of fake blood you can actually put in your eyes, but I don't want any, I don't want no part of that. Right, Eric? Here's a look close at it. Just gnarly. Um, I realize I could have blended this better, but I'm still learning. I'm not a pro. I'm barely an amateur. I'm merely a hobbyist. So, and it smells like salted caramel coffee in here too. So, and my face smells like it. So, alrighty. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um that's it i hope you enjoyed this uh thanks so much for watching and i'm going to insert some photographs of this at the end of the video because i was requested by some people to oh, I'm to, show dripping on me, to do it more often so i'm gonna do that